Item number SCP-2140, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. All instances of SCP-2140 are to be housed in one of four standard terrariums in a soundproofed BCL-1 room equipped with an airtight door seal. Terrariums are to be maintained as per standard for domestic rats with a layer of pine shavings cleaned weekly, a water bottle changed daily, an exercise wheel, and standard toys for pet rats. Diet is to be standard nutritional pellets for rodents. All feeding and maintenance is to be carried out by hand. Under no circumstances are automated feeding devices to be used. In the event that the number of instances of SCP-2114 exceeds 30 individuals, excess instances are to be euthanized and the remains incinerated. Any wild instances of SCP-2114 are to be destroyed. Male and female instances are to be kept strictly quarantined from each other, except in the case of approved testing. Offspring of the original instances possess the same anomalous traits as their parents. All tests involving SCP-2114 are to take place in rooms sealed from the outside, as said testing rooms are not to be unsealed until all instances are contained or destroyed. Description SCP-2114 is a designation for a colony of rats originally discovered in a laboratory in Beep, in 20 Beep. They were acquired by Foundation agents pursuing reports of anomalous radioactivity and an outbreak of auditory hallucinations. The laboratory in question appeared to have been abandoned for less than Beep days. Investigation revealed that the laboratory was owned by Beep Incorporated, but company agents denied all knowledge of the location and its contents. The laboratory appeared to have been hastily stripped of all identifying material and much of its equipment. All of the remaining equipment was in a state of disrepair, as if it had been partially disassembled and or destroyed. For a full list, see document 2114A. When found, only beep instances of SCP-2114 were alive, along with the material remains of beep additional instances. All of the instances were died with a two-digit number on the back, from beep to beep inclusive and beep to beep inclusive. This suggests at least beep instances remain unaccounted for. Instances of SCP-2114 appear physically identical to the common white laboratory rat and display normal behavior for their species. Examination has revealed no anomalous anatomical features, although slightly elevated levels of acetylcholine were present. It is assumed that SCP-2114 is cross-fertile with non-anomalous rats but it is unknown whether their anomalous properties would be passed on to any offspring. Testing is pending approval of the site director. When introduced to any sort of mechanism with complex moving parts, all instances will begin to examine it by a vision, taste, and touch, including paws and purpose. After an examination period of 5 to 10 minutes, the instances will proceed to disassemble the mechanism, unscrewing screws and bolts, prying apart casings, disconnecting wires, and otherwise undoing all connections. SCP-2114 has been observed to use the minimum amount of force necessary to disassemble the target mechanisms, and damage to the mechanism is rare and usually minor. Instances of SCP-2114 will cooperate to disassemble the target mechanism, displaying unusual levels of coordination, thus enabling them to manipulate objects too large and complex for a single rat. If SCP-2114 find themselves unable to effectively disassemble a mechanism, they may attempt minor controlled damage, for example, soldered wires will be been through and glued seams may be gnawed. In such cases, 
SCP-2114 appears to focus on gaining access to all the significant areas of the mechanism as opposed to complete disassembly. Once the target mechanism has been disassembled, all present instances of SCP-2114 will examine the individual component with noses, paws, tongues, and frepisse, passing them back and forth among each other. This second examination period is usually of similar length to the initial 5-10 to 10 minute period, though it may be longer in the case of larger mechanisms. Once the secondary examination period has been completed, SCP-2114 will proceed to reassemble the target mechanism. As with the disassembly process, all present instances will work together to reattach wires, insert pegs, and otherwise return the mechanism to its original state. In cases where SCP-2114 is physically unable to return the mechanism to its original state, it may be made as close as possible. For example, soldered wires that have been bent off will be bent so as to maintain contact with the original contact points. Once the target mechanism has been reassembled to the best of SCP-2114's ability, the collective instances will appear to lose interest and resume normal rodent behavior. Test Log Date Beep 20 Beep Test Mechanism One electric clock radio Test Subjects Six adult instances Results SCP-2114 disassembled, examined, and reassembled clock radio Clock radio operated normally when plugged in Total elapsed time 43 minutes. Date. Beep. 20 beep. Test mechanism. One electric clock radio, which was struck by Agent Alexander with a wooden mallet until it ceased to function and showed significant damage to plastic housing. Test subjects. Six adult instances. Results. SCP-2114 examined, disassembled, and reassembled clock radio. Damage to housing was not repaired, and broken fragments of housing were ignored. When plugged in, clock function operated normally, but radio could not receive any known stations. Instead, radio produced a high-pitched tone reminiscent of a theremin, which changed pitch as different stations were selected. Further testing pending. Total elapsed time, 56 minutes. Date. Beep, 20 beep, test mechanism. One electric clock radio, which had been disassembled into its component pieces. Test subjects, six adult instances. Results, SCP-2114 examined and reassembled clock radio, which operated normally when plugged in. Total elapsed time, 28 minutes. Date, beep, 20 beep. Test mechanism, random assortment of components Lean from one electric clock radio, one non-functioning cellular telephone, one electric space heater, and one coffee maker. Test subjects. Six adult instances. Result: SCP-2114 examined components for an unusual long time. 19 minutes before proceed to reassembly stage. Collective components were assembled into a single mechanism of unknown function. Approximately 75% of available components were used. The remaining 25 were ignored after initial examination period. When powered, the mechanism produced a high-pitched whining sound. No other functions were apparent. Further testing pending. Total elapsed time, 46 minutes. Note, researcher Beep reported experiencing a sudden case of tinnitus during the final 9 minutes of this test. Date. Beep, 20 beep. Test mechanism. One Nokia brand cordless house telephone and one Hewlett Packard brand desktop printer. Both disassembled and their components mixed together. Test subjects. Six adult instances. Results. SCP-2114 examined components for 37 minutes before commencing reassembly. Instances assembled available components into a single mechanism of unknown function. Approximately 85% of available components were used. The remaining 15% were ignored 
after an initial examination period. When powered, the mechanism produced a pulsing noise that quickly cycled up beyond the human hearing range. Further testing pending. Total elapsed time, 88 minutes. Note, mild headaches and tinnitus reported by nearby staff within approximately 15 minutes of this test. Date, beep, 20 beep. Test mechanism, one Dell brand laptop computer. Non-functional due to faulty motherboard. Test results, six adult instances. Results, SCP-2114 examined, disassembled and reassembled computer. Minor damage to housing noted due to knowing required to gain access. When powered, computer operated normally. Total elapsed time, 67 minutes. Notes. How on earth did they lose that? Date. Beep. 20 beep. Test mechanism. 2003 Red Volkswagen in fair condition. Test subjects. 12 adult instances. Results. SCP-2114 initially ignored vehicle, but after approximately 8 minutes, began exhibiting interest. Instances examined vehicle for 132 minutes, before apparently losing interest again. However, after a brief pause for normal feeding, instances returned to vehicle and began disassembly. Per Agent Alexander's orders, standard food and water for SCP-2114 was provided and room was sealed. Tests continued via video surveillance. After approximately three hours, vehicle was observed visibly leaning to one side, as if it had sustained damage to left front wheel. After eight hours, Virgo was in a clear state of disassembly, with engine components scattered over the floor. After 17 hours, Virgo appeared completely disassembled, save for body and frame. After 21 hours, instances were observed transporting components under the body of disassembled Virgo. Assume reassembly has begun. After 26 hours, lashing red lights were visible through openings of vehicle body. After 30 hours, nearby individuals began reporting tinnitus, mild headaches, and one case of sudden nausea. Tests ended and all instances of SCP-2114 returned to normal habitats. A partially assembled mechanism was found under the body of the vehicle, consisting of approximately 20% of available components, excluding body and frame. Mechanism is powered by the vehicle's 12-volt battery. When power was removed, associated symptoms ceased. Further testing pending. Total elapsed time, 30 hours. Test results classified, and a password to access. Access granted. Date. Beep. 20 beep. Test mechanism. One Dell brand laptop computer. One Sony brand stereo CD player. Assorted electronic components. See list. Test subjects. Six adult instances. Results. SCP-2114 examined components and proceeded to disassemble computer and stereo. Instances examined all components for 23 minutes before commencing reassembly. Instances assembled components into a single mechanism of unknown function. Approximately 80% of available components used. Remaining 20% were ignored after initial examination period. When powered, note, mechanism power provided by laptop battery and six D-cell batteries from stereo. Nearby personnel reported tinnitus and mild headaches. Instances then appeared to lose interest in mechanism. When testing room was opened, all nearby personnel reported sudden severe headaches and researcher beep collapsed. Strong interference noted in electronic devices as far as beep meters away and personnel as far as beep meters away reported auditory hallucinations, including screaming, a high-pitched whining sound, and wailing. SCP Beep became agitated at this time, resulting in redacted. Agent Alexander entered the testing room and attempted without success to disengage the mechanism from its power supply. Bearing this, 
Agent Alexander and researcher Simmons physically assaulted the mechanism, knocking it on its side and doing significant damage, which ultimately disengaged the power supply. Headaches, electronic interference, and auditory hallucinations subsided within five minutes. Researcher Peep was taken to medical and pronounced dead on arrival of a severe stroke. Total elapsed time, 71 minutes. Note. Further testing suspended by order of Psych Director Richardson, pending review.